This video introduces a generic marking template built in Excel. We all know that marking assignments can be a time-consuming task, but in addition to producing a formal grade, marking is a great opportunity to provide students with feedback to acknowledge good work, highlight areas for improvement, and focus attention on any weaknesses. Doing a high-quality job at marking also makes students feel that they've been treated fairly. When receiving feedback on their assignments, students want to know, how were my marks calculated? Were they assigned in a fair and logical way? Is the feedback sufficient to allow for a discussion of the marks if I disagree with them or I don't understand them? What exactly did I do wrong? And what should I have done? What are the gaps in my understanding of the course material? And where should I focus my attention for improvement? Providing quality feedback that answers these questions takes time and effort. One of the challenges with marking is that it's time consuming to carefully craft detailed, helpful feedback for a large number of students. However, I've noticed that students often struggle on the same parts of an assignment and make similar mistakes. This presents an opportunity. If we can easily reuse feedback and marks, we can increase efficiency while achieving a high level quality and consistency in marking. Let's see how this can be done using the marking template. Step one is to add the evaluation criteria and the associated weights to the marking sheet. Type them in or paste them from another source. The columns of the marking sheet are item number, which is a unique identifier which must start at one and increment one for each row. Then there are one or more description columns. For this example, I have columns for the worksheet name and the requirement description. Next is the weight associated with each item. Then the score. Leave that blank because it will be calculated based on the value in the comments column. Finally, there's the comments column. Leave that blank too. It will be populated based on the reusable comments associated with that item. Before you start marking, you can create default comments to be used for tasks that a student did not complete. To do this, copy the item numbers and paste them into the detailed comments worksheet to create a row for each item. Add text for the comment and award the students a mark of zero. Now all of the items have a value in the comments dropdown for a task not completed. And the mark is changed to zero. Sometimes using an image can save a lot of words. It can also be helpful for the marker to compare with the student's submission during evaluation. Now we're ready to start marking. When a student has not met a requirement or has done really well, choose the appropriate comment from the drop-down list for that item. When needed, add more comments to the detailed comments worksheet. After all the criteria have been evaluated, add an overall comment by choosing from the drop-down list or typing in a comment. Overall comments do not affect the student's marks. When marking is complete for a student, copy the student results and paste them into the learning management system. Note that if you used images, you will need to use a screen capture as opposed to a direct paste.
Then delete the comments on the marking sheet and you're ready to mark another assignment.